Hey, so I noticed this a while ago, but if you are enjoying my content, be sure to subscribe. It really would mean a lot. And yeah, I do make epic content, so do it or I'll steal your cookies. <laughs> On to the video. Have you ever really liked a FNAF fan game, but most people in the community don't give it the same amount of respect as you do? Well, I have plenty of times, and we shall look at those today. Hey there guys, this is Tyler, and welcome back to another Top 5 list. Today we shall be counting down the top 5 most underrated FNAF fan games of all time. These are FNAF fan games where, in my personal opinion, are either good or even great, but are either A, they're under the eyes of most of the community, meaning they aren't known that much, or B, they're disliked by most of the community. With that clarification, this is my personal opinion. It's okay if you don't think these are good. I won't mind. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the list. Number 5, Five Nights at F*** Boys, Rockstar Freddy's Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad, Literally Downright Evil Life. That was a pain to say. Okay, update. So, as of writing the script, that's what it was called, but he changed the name to it to Five Nights at F*** Boys Fazbear's Heist GT. So, um, yeah, pretty interesting. So, on to the video. I'm going to refer to it as Rockstar Freddy's whatever, whatever. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, this game. This is a boys parody game and let's just say it serves its purpose it's got the crude and offensive humor done right it's got a decent story interesting gameplay even for an rpg and all around it's just a fun game it also uses the pizzeria simulator characters which is always a treat fun fact this fan game won the fan game at fred at season 2 game jam but after that nobody really talks about this game and it's worth more discussion I just love the witty and charming dialogue sprinkled in to make this a 2020 rendition of Five Nights at F*** Boys. Although, the reason why this game's at number 5 is because of the fact it did win, and I gotta say, it was deserving of that win. I do think this was the best game we got in the game jam. Sure, we got games like Afton's Revenge, Scooped, and The Special Birthday, but honestly, unpopular opinion, this game took the cake. Nice one. Number 4, Five Nights Before Freddy's. This game's both underrated and overhated. This was made by the same dude who made Five Nights with 39, and this game seemed to be the basis of various aspects in Five Nights with 39, like the story, and especially the map layout slash office. This game takes place a few nights before FNAF 1, where Freddy and crew are ready to be shipped to the FNAF 1 location, and for 7 nights, they need a security guard at the location with animatronics to keep an eye on them, so you know, they're there to be shipped? Common Sense? Ever heard of that? This game was kind of huge for a little while. It was on the first page under Best FNAF on Game Jolt and got a sequel, as well as a little more known and comedic spin-off series we all know and love. <laughs> but then, the game kind of gotten forgot about. It's no longer on the first page on Best FNAF on Game Jolt anymore, and this game is usually often hated a lot by the FNAF community. That's the reason why this game made it onto the list. It's a damn shame though, because in my opinion, this game's actually pretty good. Even though the gameplay is sort of identical to FNAF 2 and 4, it's still presented uniquely and has its charm. The character models are really good, the sound design's actually really stellar, I really like some of the Torador variations and office ambience and the voice acting from the phone guy in Golden Freddy. But what I love the most about this game, and anything by 39, is its storytelling. If there's one thing 39 is consistently good at with making his games, it's crafting lore and a story. And this game is no exception. I love how it ties this game and FNAF 1 together, and Night 8 is such a great night to play in terms of story. We'll get on that in a second. And almost everything about the lore in this game is an excellent masterpiece. Now, this game does have a few flaws, no game's perfect. For example, I'm not a huge fan of the office and location designs, I wish there was more secrets than just Shadow Freddy, but where I think this game is flawed in my opinion is Night 8, but in terms of gameplay. Yeah, again, in terms of story, masterpiece. In terms of gameplay, womp. The RNG in Night 8 is kind of bullshit, and there's nothing for the player to do besides looking for Golden Freddy. I wish there was at least one way to get rid of him if he was there, I don't know. 
If you're only playing Night 8 for the gameplay only and don't care for the story, it's pretty boring. Despite those complaints, I do recommend this game, and it's definitely good for a nice playthrough. Number 3, Ultra Custom Night. This game is truly something. Basically, this is a fan-made extended version of Ultimate Custom Night which adds characters that were not in the original UCN, and I gotta say, that's pretty damn impressive. Like, it's almost got everybody. It even has minor characters like Phone Dude, The Crying Child, The FNAF 3 Newspaper, The Scrap FNAF 1 Life Mechanic, and the f***ing making Freddy and Fredbear clay piles. Yep, this game definitely lives up to its name. Now, I'll admit, some of the character placements in the office are kind of out of place, but I'm excusing this because of the click team limit being a problem. But in general, this game has got really unique mechanics and just fun gameplay all around. In my opinion, this can rival the original Ultimate Custom Night in a way. It's got the charm of Ultimate Custom Night while adding a really cool twist to it, which is obviously the more huge roster. This game also gets frequently updated with new characters, and Camille started adding FNAF fan game characters from the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, which is pretty nice. And it's not just characters, there's also great features like a leaderboard, the ability to change the music, a shop, and other really interesting things. This game was worth checking out, and if you do check it out, you'll have some fun. Or also some crashes too, you know? Number 2, Purple Heist. This was another fan game of Reddit Season 2 Game Jam fan game, and I gotta say, this one is really underrated. I'll get into why later. Basically, you're playing as Vanny, and Purple Guy has been arrested for his numerous murders of the franchise, and you must break him out of prison. Now, this game is really fun. Like, I was interested in playing this game for the whole entire time. It's also a really unique game, all the way down to its concept. That of course being breaking Afton out of jail. As well, the graphics are surprisingly really good. It reminds me of an 8-bit platform-like deal, and it works here. Also, I just love the little comedic touches like the news anchor being Scott Cawthon or... A lot of time and care was put into this game, and you can just tell by playing it. It had huge effort behind it, even for our Game Jam game. Now, why is it really underrated? This is how many followers it has on Game Jolt as of writing this script. You think a game this good and enjoyable would have more followers? It's honestly pretty upsetting and a complete surprise. Well, at least I could say this game was really good. There were definitely better games in the game jam like Rockstar Freddy's Evil Heist, Afton's Revenge, The Special Birthday, and Scooped, but this game is certainly up there and would be number 5 on a list about the top 5 best fan games at Freddy's Season 2 Game Jam fan games. Also, that video is never happening, leave me alone. Number 1, 5 Ventures with 39. Yep, this game. I knew this was going to be number 1 when making this list, because honestly, this game's really fun. Basically, this is a FNAF World styled game based off of 5 Nights with 39, and this is actually canned into the 39 story because of the ending hinting at 39 too. Now, this game was originally cancelled, but 39 decided to add more to the game and give it an ending so it isn't the exact full game, but it's good enough. I just love the creativity that was put into this game and a lot of the comedic touches. Yes, it does have the constant swearing equals funny jokes, but besides those, the other comedy in this game is pretty good here. It also has a great story here too, especially the true ending. It's just a really engaging game. The reason why it's number one on this list is because this game is not really talked about that much. No really, this game has literally been forgotten about, and it's a shame to me because I actually really liked this game for what it was. Oh well, maybe someday this game will get love from someone else but me. For now, 5 Ventures with 39 is in my opinion, the most underrated FNAF fan game of all time. Well guys, those were in my opinion the top 5 most underrated FNAF fan games of all time. I hope you guys did enjoy. In description below contains the download links to each of the games talked about in this video, as well as that is my Discord server, Twitter, Instagram, Tyler Extras, the server addressed to my Minecraft Java Edition server, my FNAF VR username and friend code, and my Fall Guys number. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.